Hi there, welcome to another render demo, how to draw a video tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to draw a bee. So let's get started. So what I'm gonna first do is start by drawing three main parts of the body. And what I'll do is on the left side of the page, I'm gonna draw this teardrop type of shape like down. So it's gonna have like, this is gonna be the head, it's gonna come down, this will be like the beak area. And then we'll come back up and then we'll curve this around like that. So that'll be the head area. We might want to get this a little bit, a little bit wider like that. Use an eraser uh, with a pencil. That way you can kind of erase, erase your mistakes. So the second step is we're gonna come from right about halfway over here. We're gonna go upwards slightly at an angle. This will be the middle part of the body. And then we'll hook this down. And then right around here, we'll come down. And this will kind of start tapering down into the right a little bit. And this will be, this distance here will be shorter than how long this is up here. Okay, we want this to be a little bit longer up there so that we can kind of curve this back like this. And then have like a nice soft curve down here. All right, so we want to have that kind of projecting over to the right like that. And for the back part, what we'll do here is we'll start at the top right around here. So we can come up like this and then right around here, we'll come, come down and then back up. Something like this, and then there'll be a little bit of a bend. Like that, so this distance here, so you see the head, how wide the head is. This is a little bit larger, and then this one's gonna be even, even larger. So if you, you know, drew lines, kind of stages. Now this one's going to be the longest of the three. So right over here, we can go and then this will kind of come down and kind of be rounded like that. So if yours looks close to this, I think you'll be in good shape. So the next thing we can do is let's go ahead and draw the eye. So what I'll do is right about halfway, this in this direction here, Okay, my eye will kind of come down and it'll it'll follow the head contour right here. See like this shape here? So you can start curving like this and then as it gets to right about here, we want it to kind of a little bit of a point. So it's almost like a, a teardrop pointing upwards. So sharper here and then rounder at the bottom. Okay, so that'll be our eye. And then we can draw a couple antenna from the head. So we'll start with this one here. So we'll do a little, kind of like a backwards C shape. And then this will point upward like this. And then it'll come and hang, hang down like that. And we'll give it some thickness like that. And then we can draw a second one. So it'll be the same shape like this upside down, kind of like this, the number seven or a backward number seven. We can do another one that's on the other side of the head. It kind of comes up and pops over here. And then this one comes down like that. And this will hang just a little bit longer than the other side. All right, just like that. So here's your antenna. And then we can draw the wings. Now, well, the wing will come from this middle section here. And what we want the wing to do is to be up higher. So if you draw like halfway from the top to the bottom, we want that to be up higher, okay? So that'll be on the top half. So we'll start around here and we'll make a shape like this. Okay, kind of like a backwards C or a regular C like this. And then it'll come up a little and then this will bend have a slight curve to it. And this will extend right off of the back 
can kind of go up like this. Now you want to have this wing pulling past the end of your body a little bit, okay? So this will come up like that and then go around this a little bit. And then back over here, this joint will kind of be flat a little bit there, just a little bit. And then it'll come up, so we'll curve it, it'll come up at a slight angle like this. And then it'll start curving back like this and then we can kind of flatten it out almost where it's straight and it'll join back up there. All right, something like that. And then what we'll do for the back wing on the other side of the body is we'll draw this shape here at the top part of the wing. So we'll come over here, out here and we'll come up like this. And then this wing's gonna, this shape here, so if I draw a line like this through the center, this one will be angled up like that. So if I take this corner here and put it over here, okay, this will kind of come up like this. You see, so this right here is right there. And then we'll have this bend here that comes and joins up to there like that and then this will this will curve like that so we got our other other wing over there i think that's a little bit too tall for me it's too high so i want to thin that out a bit okay so now we have our two wings eye and the antenna so now we can go and we can stay on the face here the head we'll add the beak in the front piece there so just draw a line like this and then you can actually outline the eye with a second offset shape and you don't have to go all the way around you can just do it on the top part and just leave the bottom of the eye the lower like the right side of it without anything okay now we're going to do the front legs so we're going to have one coming out of the front here and then one right where the intersection is of these two pieces of the body and then we'll have one in the back so if we want let's start with the one that's in between here so that we can space these out good so i'll start about here i'll come up we don't want to touch the wing but i'll come up a hook and then create this kind of like a dog bone almost this dog bone kind of shape I'll go create something kind of like that and then from here we'll come down a curve and this is this second shape is going to be roughly about the same length as this one be a little bit shorter if you want and then we'll kind of just do this like shape like this and then we'll have a end piece that hooks and then it like points like that all right, now that we draw, drew this in, we can draw the front one right about here. So we'll do shape that starts right about here. So it's gonna be lower than this one. And it's gonna extend it past the body, the bottom of the body, like this. And I'm gonna leave the bottom open a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw this round shape like that. And then I'll have this that has almost like a split at the end of it like that. All right. And then for the back leg, we're going to draw this dog bone shape, but it's going to be pointing like from the left upwards in this direction. So we'll start here, right around here like this. And we can extend this past the body a little bit if you want. And then we'll come up. And then this will be wider up here, you know, kind of get a little bit narrower. So this is big and this is smaller here. And then over here, this joint will start coming down. Okay. So now we're going to do this shape like this. And then this is going to hook over like that. And then this is going to be narrow up here. And then it's going to 
quickly get wider over here. And then at the bottom, it'll be flat like this. You can have a little bit of a curve to it. And the next thing, we'll draw this shape here over here, but this one will be shorter than that. It's not gonna be as long as that front one. So this will come down and we'll kind of bend it like this. And this is also gonna be wider, it's gonna be a lot thicker over here. And then back here, we'll kind of curve it like this, round the bottom, and hook that around like that. And then we'll do this little spiky shape here, but in the reverse direction. So we'll come like this and we'll hook this back like that. All right, so there we got our three front legs. And now we'll do the ones on the other side. So we'll start with the front one. So I'll create this shape like this. Somewhere around here. And then this front leg's gonna kind of hook that. Then this one here I'm going to draw to the right and I'm going to make this one a little, you know, about the same location here. I'm going to come up like that. And remember it's on the other side so we'll stop because we're going to see the belly a little apart here in front. And then we'll start about here. And this will kind of do something like that. And then we can put a small hook like that. And then the leg on the other side, I'll put that leg right around here. So I'm going to draw this part right here, this lower section. That's going to come right here. Be rounded like this. All right, so that piece right here is like this piece in front, okay? And then we're gonna draw this shape here, just below. Okay, so we're gonna come and draw something similar like that. And it's okay if you wanna kinda of fine tune, fine tune it, maybe it's a little bit too long, and you wanna change the shape. See, we got an eraser. I'm just going to race. See, that looks a little bit better. Like that. And then we'll draw that other hook going towards the front. Just like this. There we go. Okay, so we've got all the legs put in place. Then what we can do now is we can add some wing, um, some splits in the wing. So we can draw main one off of here that kind of comes up and these can be kind of um, they don't have to be perfectly straight they can have little bits of like a little wave to them if you like all right so you know you can go and, and draw a couple splits to your wing just like that And then we'll do the same for the other side. And what you want to try to do is like whatever you did over here, if you can kind of draw the same, same ones, you know, they'll look a little bit more um, like symmetrical. There. Okay. So next thing now, let's go back to the back of the the right side of the body, this piece here, and we'll draw this curve right here. Okay, we'll draw a curve like this. This will come like that, and this is gonna be like rounded, okay? We'll draw one there. We'll do another one here. And we can do another one like this. And another one here. And maybe two more back there. And then I'm, I'll draw a second line just for some added detail. Like that. Okay. And then we'll go back to the front where the eyeball is. And we can start in the middle here from one corner 
of this eye to the bottom here and we'll do a slight curve towards the right and back. And then what we'll do is we'll offset that line fairly close. So we'll do maybe two on this side and then we'll do one, two on that side. And then what we wanna do is we wanna do a curve from the left to right that's bending upward. So if you wanna start in the middle, you can do that. And then you can radiate a couple off of that towards the top and then towards the bottom, something like that. So what I'll do is I'll just erase a few of these lines. So I'll ink this in with my black ink pen and then we'll go and color it in. Okay, now I'm gonna grab some colors and color this in. Okay, we just finished drawing our bee and coloring it in. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and you subscribe down below to our channel. That way you can see upcoming tutorials from us. So have a good one and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.